thuggy now We in your city, we be what now Hey pretty, are you ready for summer? Well, you better be at least halfway ready by the end of this video, okay? If you're new here, I'm Aaliyah, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the first half of my summer preparation. I just realized today that I have 20 days left before summer officially starts. And I definitely need to, you know, get working on some things before I can jump in the summer. So I'm gonna create a vision board, do some online shopping, create a bucket list and write down some habits that I want to successfully do on a daily basis during summer because I already know that these 20 days are gonna go quick so the last thing we want to be is last minutes okay cuz summer is gonna come when she want to come and we gotta be ready for her okay so the first thing that I want to do is create a vision board I want to be able to envision how I want my summer to look like I'm gonna put it as my laptop screensaver so that I can look at it every single day and you know just bring it to life manifest it into my life so that I can have the best Best summer possible okay so first thing I'm gonna search up is some like pretty locations filled with nature because I want to do a lot of traveling and road trips this summer also tip for when you're creating a vision board it's best to find pictures with no faces in it so that you can really like envision yourself in that picture you know and I'm also searching up pictures of like planes and just anything travel related because I definitely don't want to spend the entire summer in my apartment like I want to do the complete opposite Next, I'm gonna search up some things that relate to my goals like YouTube or life or my mindset, just anything goal related. I also already have a lot of pictures in my Pinterest boards because I'm on Pinterest like every single day. Now I'm going to find some like outfit inspo of like how I want my summer fashion to be like. My style has changed a lot and I'm really excited to do some shopping later on in the video because the clothes I have in my closet right now it is so hard to not get carried away on Pinterest. Like I am in love with this website. I could just scroll and scroll and save and pin everything for hours. But I am now gonna go on PicMonkey and take all the photos that I've downloaded and I'm going to create my vision board. I finished my vision board and it looks so cute. Let me show you guys and explain everything that I put on there and what it means to me. So here I have some affirmations, which if I read them every day, it will most likely benefit me a lot. I also have some fashion inspo. It gives like an overall example of how I want my summer style to be. Here are just some travel pictures. I already have some little trips planned for the summer. Here is just a picture of a gym because I want to stay consistent with my workout. And last but not least, I have this picture of some fresh strawberries. Super random, but I want to eat a lot cleaner this summer. But yeah, here's a complete screenshot of my vision board if you guys want to screenshot it or anything. But before we continue on with everything else I have to do for my little preparation, I am going to head out and grab something to eat because I am actually starving. And this took longer than expected, but I was honestly just having too much fun on Pinterest. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah. I'm back. I got myself some food. I stopped by this local baker near my apartment, which me and my boyfriend love. It's called Pie Junkie and Bakery. And their pot pies are my favorite. They're so flavorful. So I got myself two. I'm just gonna eat one right now, but maybe my boyfriend will want one after work, so I got an extra one. This one has a B on it because it is butter chicken. The second one I got has a C on it because it's the classic chicken pot pie. And I think I'm gonna eat this one for now as I wait for my pie to heat up I'm going to get into step two of my summer prep which is creating a bucket list I'm just gonna write it in my 2022 planner in the back of it there's like these blank pages so I'm just gonna write everything down here and I'm gonna do a bit of research on Alberta for you guys I don't know I recently moved here a few months ago so there's a lot in this province that I haven't seen yet so I'm definitely going to make sure to add every single thing onto this bucket list and hopefully by the end of summer I can have more than half of it checked off who's ready 
I just finished my bucket list and it is pretty long, but I'm so sure that I'm gonna be able to do everything on here. But my food is ready, so I'm just going to eat real quick before we get to shopping. We'll all get together and we're gonna go shopping! Alrighty, so before we get into the shopping, I'm just gonna tell you guys some of the habits that I want to incorporate into my daily summer routine. So the first one is to wake up early and go to sleep early. I don't really have like a specific time that I want to wake up right now because like it's not like I'm gonna start doing it tomorrow type thing, but anytime before 10 a.m. I'm fine with it. And as long as I'm not going to sleep at like midnight to 2 a.m. should be fine. Second one is to work out at least least four times a week and to go on walks at least four times a week and I know you can just walk on the treadmill but I want to specifically go walk outside around my neighborhood get some fresh air get some sun all that and you know just separate that from my actual workout in the gym definitely need to push myself to go out more third one is to drink a gallon of water every day so if you know me you know that I never drink water but lately I've been drinking lemon water water a lot like I find that I just need to drink something that has flavor like I don't like drinking milk either it upsets my stomach first of all but that's probably because I never drink it no more like when I was younger it didn't upset me like that point is I need to drink more water next on the list is to stick to my morning and night routine because having a healthy routine is one of the keys to success if you didn't know next on the list is to eat clean so I definitely don't have the best relationship with food I just don't even try to discipline myself which I really need to start doing. Definitely did not explain myself correctly. What I meant by discipline myself is that when it comes to me having my little cravings, I want ice cream, I want fast food, I want McDonald's fries, blah, blah, blah. I go get it. So I need to stop doing that and tell myself that I don't need it. I can find something else that's yummy in my house that I can just make really quick. It'll probably be healthier, you know? So that's what I meant. I really need to start taking care of my body a lot more because I only got one and it's all up to me and I want to feel better. I want my body to feel better too. So definitely eating clean. And the last thing I have on my list of healthy habits that I want to incorporate is to do everything that I told myself I would do. And this has a lot to do with building trust within myself because how am I supposed to trust myself if I tell myself, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this done tomorrow, I'm gonna do all this tomorrow and then I just don't do it. I'm not gonna be confident in myself I'm not gonna be confident in what I say because I'm just going against what I told myself I should do you know definitely need to build some trust within myself and my relationship with myself is gonna be so much better because literally if I did everything that I told myself I do I'd be somewhere else right now but it's okay I'm learning from it which is a good sign it's only going up from here but I am now ready to do some shopping okay so for today's shopping spree I need to buy some summer shoes like some slides some sandals some cute little short heels that I can just wear out and stuff with some nice summer dresses I need to buy some bathing suits I need some shorts some skirts I want to get mini skirts because I don't really have many of them if I see something I like I might get it oh and I also want some bags and some jewelry I want more rings like colorful rings maybe some like necklaces and stuff I don't know I could get a lot of stuff so I'm definitely gonna need to control myself but let's get to shopping so first I think I'm gonna look for some basics on Aritzia. In my closet I find that I have a lot of statement pieces so I'm gonna look for some basic tops or bodysuits. Anything that is comfortable and not suffocating I am all about it. I've been wanting one of these for so long and I completely forgot. I'm gonna get it in a size medium and add it to my bag. Now to go back to what I was actually looking for. Some basics okay let's see we're already going off track here but I really want that for a long time so I don't feel too bad okay doesn't know that I have any tops that I'm looking for so I'm gonna look on princess Polly okay so princess Polly has so many cute summer dresses oh my gosh getting like a colorful dress like this would be awesome just anything color like whether it's a dress a two-piece set I just like to stand out but I also love wearing all black I don't know I'm complicated okay okay this this like swimsuit with the cover up like it just looks amazing and I need it it's from this Instagram account and I'm about to go check them out right now okay so they got mostly lingerie but let me find your bathing suits girl oh <gasps> I found it oh my gosh 
they have so much on oh, sold out no press on the heart next to each style to vote for its potential return i'm clicking the heart girl i want this back i'm clicking it over and over and over and over and they have more this is so cute. Alrighty, that is it for part one of my summer prep. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see more of me. And make sure you hit that bell so that you don't miss part two where I'll be going up for summer. I'm so excited. I appreciate you so, so much for watching this entire video. I love you so much. Mwah.